All right, guys. Well, I am going to cover a couple things, and I think it's just going to work better if I try to do a couple different videos. Um, they're all going to line up then together, kind of right next to each other, but that way if you feel like you want to review or do one more than the other. So as you can see right now on the board, I have set up that we're going to review adding and subtracting matrices, also mentioned scalar distribution, but then over here, um, we're going to multiply, and once again, I tried to figure out with the glare, but it's a little bit off, but we'll make sure it's working okay. So look over here, please. If you are going to add or subtract, your dimensions must actually match. So look at this one. You can tell right away, these two boxes exactly match, right? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six. Also, don't just think just because there's six and six, it matches up. Like, look down here. I know this says multiply, but this six has two rows and three columns, and it's flipped here. Just because both those have six, we would not be able to add. Adding, they have to be the same. So right here, I have three rows, two columns. Three rows, two columns. I can add these, and you add them very simply just by adding. What's eight plus six? Sometimes our number is gonna get bigger, sometimes our number might get smaller if we're adding or possibly subtracting and our numbers are positive or negative or whatever. So eight plus six gives me 14. Keep going, negative two matches with the five. Negative two plus five gives me three. Three plus four, seven. Five plus negative seven, okay? So please be careful, I'm adding, but that second one was negative seven plus five and negative one plus three. All right, so that's what we would do if it was just straight up like that. In a second here, I'm going to redo that problem with something else in the way. Down here, tomorrow, excuse me, your test is Friday. Um, if on the test you get to this and you see this, this should make you really happy at the top. It just says, right, cannot dimension mismatch. Remember, when you are adding, if they don't match up, you cannot do it. So you would write, can't do, dimensions don't work, okay? Don't just leave the problem blank and think, oh, Miss Jabs knows that I don't know, I know I can't do that. Guys, people leave stuff blank when they just don't know what to do. So please make sure you write, I can't do that. My dimensions aren't what they're supposed to be. All right, so that's what you do there. Guys, I want to do one more thing because I wrote scalar right here. So I'm going to erase this bottom one quick. And I'm going to redo this one. So that means for a second, I'm going to erase the answer. I'm going to kind of cover this two different ways. And sorry if it confuses you, I just figured. All right, let's say there was a four. Sorry, and I have it too close to the edge of the board, but let's say there was a four written right there. Hopefully you can still read all those numbers with a little bit of the glare of the windows, okay? Sorry, guys, that's why I say the numbers as well. If there is a four here, that is a scalar that you have to distribute to everything. There could be a problem, and I think tonight on the homework I gave you a problem that looks like this. What's four times eight? All right, so we would write a new matrix. 32 goes in there. What's four times negative two? What's four times three? What's four times five? What's four times seven? What's four times negative one? Oh, my goodness. Since I'm saying negative one, I just wrote that. Currently, since I have nothing here, we're just going to rewrite that matrix that I see there. And now that I already did the distribution, I'm now going to add. What's 32 plus 6? What's negative 8 plus 5? What's 12 plus 4? And guys, I, I suppose uh, people said add or subtract. This could be a minus in here. Just be careful if this was a minus about switching the signs of the second thing. What's 20 plus a negative 7? What's 28 plus 5? And what's negative 4 plus 3? All right. So adding, subtracting, scalar multiplication. Most people said they didn't have a lot of questions on it. Just review one or two. So there's one or two reviewed. I also will, um, excuse me, there's a few of those on the homework tonight. Now guys, to get your point for the day, and again, these videos, there's gonna be several of them, but I'm gonna write on there that you have to watch all of them, please, and thank you. 
On Friday, that's the day I would like to give the test, but I know some of you have other classes that you have a lot of stuff to do in the morning. Others of you have classes that you have to do stuff for in the afternoon. Some of you are thinking it's Friday, I just wanna get a test done and out of the way. Um, I know it goes a little bit off of what Mr. P kind of sent out as the rules, but what I am thinking is that today you respond to me and get your point by the following. I am thinking of having two different testing sessions. One session would be in the morning, maybe from about 10 to noon. So at 10 o'clock in the morning, if you would like to take that one, you would sign in to classroom. I would give you your test. You would work on your test. As soon as you were done, you would be done with pre-calculus for the day. You could take your test at 10 o'clock. Of course, you will have to be sitting in front of your computer. I will have to have a video going with you, stuff like that. So make sure that it's at a time that works and is convenient for you for that. Um, so one option would be a morning session of like 10 to noon. And then the other one I was thinking I would offer an afternoon session from like two to four. Again, just because I say 10 to, to noon and two to four, you might be done in 40 minutes. If you're done in 40 minutes, you're done and you're done for the day. So please respond to me and uh, your point for today, knowing that I, you're watching this video, comes from you saying to me, I would like to take the test from 10 to noon, the morning session. I would like to take the test from two to four, the afternoon session. If for some reason, because I know some of you are working and there's different things going on, if neither of those testing session times work out, you can also email me and say, hey, Miss Jabs, I really like your testing session ideas, but those don't work for me. Can you please uh, consider this and suggest a time for me? And maybe if there's a few more people who want like a third testing time, I can write a classroom uh, page about a, a little post about that and we can see what's going on. All right, sorry guys, other to my multiplication. It's kind of hard to read right here because of the glare. Please remember when we're doing this, we check dimensions, but we check them in a different way. So my dimensions and my dimensions. If I'm multiplying two matrices together, I write their dimensions right next to each other. Rows times columns, rows times columns. But I check these two middle numbers. Those two middle numbers must match. If they don't match, you can't do it. And same thing. Please make sure you tell me like I did before over there on the bottom. Hey, Miss Jabs, you can't do this. So since you can't do it, I can't do this. There is no question. Um, please don't just think because there's four numbers here and there's four numbers here, you can automatically multiply these. This is a square, guys. A square is like two by two, three by three. A square is nice. Lots of times there's things we can or can't do with that. But since this is a square, we would write our dimensions as two by two. Remember, rows go first. So count how many this way. One, two. Look at this one. One. There's only one row. You know what? I could worry about that this is a one by four. But as soon as I wrote down that that is a one by something, look at those two numbers in the middle. They don't match, and so you cannot do it. And so you would say cannot do. Um, I would be okay if you wrote like NA for not available, and you would say dimensions don't work, dimension mismatch, something like that. All right? But again, please make sure you tell me I can't do this. It's not this... I left it blank because I don't know what I'm doing. I can't do this. All right, hopefully these colors show up okay when I pick them up. Sometimes they work great the first try. Remember, when you are doing multiplication that you can multiply, this is a two by two, count rows first. So one, two rows by one. Those match and my answer will be a two by one. I usually, when I'm still helping people who maybe don't quite see or are having trouble, like to circle that one and circle this one just to say this is where we're supposed to start out. I will sometimes jot my numbers off to the side. So four times eight is 32. Notice that's a really small, I don't even know if you can read it from the video, but that's a 32 right there. One times seven is negative seven. I have to combine those, 32 minus seven. I'm pretty sure would give me 25. My other circle would be this bottom one. Uh, I do not know if this green is gonna show up very well, but please know that I circled that in green. I would have two times eight, which is 16. I would have three times negative seven, which is minus 21. 16 minus 21 gives me negative five. 
And so that would be my answer for that second matrix when I multiplied them together. And again, if you look right here, a two by one should be my answer. So please be careful. This one, when I was pointing it to it before, it was supposed to be a negative one. Uh, so let's count. One, two rows. One, two, three columns. One, two, three rows. One, two columns. Those do match up. Good. Since they match up, we can do it. And our answer is going to be a two by two, which means it's going to be a smaller thing like this. So we've got one times four. Guys, I'm going to erase this squiggly line even though I had it there before. One times four is four. I have negative one times three. Negative one times three is negative three. And then I have six times two, that's 12. Four minus three is one. One plus 12 is 13. I am pretty sure my first number here should be 13. All right, next I'm gonna move from this red circle over to my second column. And again, a couple of you I've been talking to you when you're doing this, I see a lot of the right numbers, but you get them a little bit mixed up. Red is my top circle, so the 13 had to go in the top row. Blue is my um, circle on the left, so that's why I had to put 13 on the left. When I multiply by purple, purple is on the right, and so it's going to go in the top on the right. 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. Negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. Do not think you will always get similar numbers, it's just the way it worked out this time. 6 times 1 gives me a positive 6. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 6 is positive 5. So that goes in that spot right there then. And again, guys, this screen is kind of working sometimes, not looking the greatest other times. And so if I circle this, I would get, let's start with the green and blue. 5 times 4 is 20. 0 times anything, oh, that's nice. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, so I have 20 minus 4, which is 16. My other green circle times purple, 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. 0 times, never mind, that's 0. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, so I have 20 and 2, they're both negative, so negative 22. All right, guys, so there is a review of adding and subtracting and multiplying. Um, again, I'm breaking up videos a little bit. I know overall then these videos might be long, but maybe you watch this and you're like, okay, I'm good on that. I never have to watch that one again. And so you're not going to watch the adding and subtracting, scalar multiplication, and regular multiplication again. But there is an important part in the middle. Again, please email me about the test session that you think you would like to take on Friday. Thank you.